How you doing guys? Chris with Dentless Touch. Hope all is well. So today we're going to do an unboxing video of the uh, motorcycle stand from Ultra Dent Tools uh, or Dave Grom. I don't know who actually built it. Maybe it was his design and they, they manufactured it for him. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get rid of this wooden one that you see right there. And we're going to unbox these this uh, motorcycle stand. So stay tuned. So first let's talk about why I actually purchased the motorcycle stand. This is the 2.0 version um, from Ultra Dent Tools. And one of the main reasons is I started to work on more and more uh, hoods from the Indian to Harley Davidson and even some of the sport bikes. And I've, I've always had to reconstruct the wooden stand that I do have. And it would just take me an extra day to just figure that out. Obviously a bunch of two by fours and one by fours and stuff like that. So hopefully this gets these tanks in and out. Uh, we kind of run a two week time for me to set it up, actually get all the tools that I need to push it because of the, the different uh, access points and leverage points of these hoods. It's not, it's not like working on a, a car. So we decided to get the stand and hopefully this expedites our service to around a two day or the same day um, as I like all our services to be. Uh, so let's get it, uh, let's get it together and so that way I can compare what I currently have or what I currently built to, to the new stand. There you go. Come with a little structure man. MPR tools. just got finished setting up the tank vise. I can already tell how sturdy this is compared to my wooden one. I will tell you that the directions were awful. So again, I will try to help that out. If you guys have any questions, just email me and I'll try to give you some information, take some high quality pictures of my uh, setup. But hopefully they can work better on the uh, directions of how to put this together. But they do give you a lot of extra parts to config to different fenders and tanks. Um, but let's go ahead and start pushing on this tank and see how much better it is compared to my wooden stain. So the 
conclusion for this vise, this uh, gas tank stand or vise, uh, is that it is worth the purchase, honestly. Uh, again, the instructions are not the best, but the stability that you get and the control that you get for remove, you know, when you mount this thing correctly, uh, it's crazy. And I can definitely see how flexible and versatile the, the mounting brackets are on this thing. Uh, definitely recommend this this uh, this vice if you guys are interested in doing uh, gas tanks and fenders. Uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up if you can. Uh, see you guys later. Again, thanks for watching.